we are back again with indents and this time we are going a little further into indentation the last time we did indents we looked at our um, little icons here that says just you know increase the indent and decrease the indent and that was fine but in this video we're going to go to the paragraph dialog box because here we can see a whole section that deals with indentation um, again from the left side remember this is the space from the margin and we can adjust that space from the left we can adjust that space from the right and as we do that we'll see the change in the preview box over here i'm just going to click ok and you can see it's adjusted the size um, or the space from the margin to the start of the text from the left and the right side let's go back when i go to special um, you can see i've got two options the first is first line so this is going to apply an indent to the very first line of my paragraph and you can see if i click on that you'll see what it looks like there i click ok and that's what it does okay so it's applying that indent to the first line of my paragraph however if i go back in and i select hanging now hanging indent this sets off the first line of the paragraph puts it at the margin and then indents the other lines of my paragraph so if i say i'm going to use an indent like that do you see what's happening here in the preview at the bottom what does it do it takes the first line of the paragraph as i said positions it over here on the side the margin and then what does it do it indents the rest of the paragraph so here's one that hasn't been indented at all i'm going to go to this paragraph paragraph dialog box and i'm going to say hanging indent I'm just going to choose anything and you can see that's where it remains this one is sitting here because it's already it already has one indent to it so please don't forget the difference between our normal indentation and then also our first line and hanging indent 